How's it going guys? Welcome back to another, I guess, Magitech Arcology video. I have, at this point, not quite decided on what I'm going to call this series. I'm recording a few things in advance of putting anything up. So, uh, I guess I'll go with Magitech Arcology for now. Um, I wanted to show some stuff here just before I got back to the base and started getting some real stuff done. At the end of the last video, I had to go and find a rock crystal. Um, if I go in here, I'll show you. One of these guys right here. And I found out how to find them. What you need to do is get the resonating wand. Run around on the surface of the world until you see one of those um, white glis um, kind of glistening plumes above the kind of above the ground. One of the starlight areas. And then tunnel down, right down to bedrock. So you can see right down here, I'm right down in amongst the bedrock, and I found it kind of tucked in underneath one of the bedrock blocks. So if you've tunneled right down, um, and it's right underneath it, there will be a block there somewhere. It's just it might be hidden underneath some bedrock. So you really need to get under there and um, nose around in the bedrock blocks themselves, because it can be uh, it can be really tucked down in. And I don't know what it's going to be for other people, but I got three uh, rock crystals with just one block. So you do actually get a fair few. So, between uh, now and last video, done a little bit of tech setup, as you can see here. Got my uh, Tinker's uh, Forge set up. And um, been doing a little bit of planning about what we're going to do today. Now, to start with, I want to head back out to the mountaintop where we were doing some astral sorcery stuff and continue that but it was a little bit awkward last time with all the darkness around and there's a little thing called a mega torch added by a mod called torch master now those of you who played older versions of the extra utilities mod will remember that there was an item called a magnum torch now for whatever reason that was uh, removed from um extra utilities but this mod, it's just a tiny little mod that adds these three things, and it gives you that magma tor that magnum torch functionality back. So all we need for it is just torches, diamonds, blocks of gold, and wood. A bit expensive when you're first starting off, but after you've gone on a couple of mining expeditions, ah, it doesn't matter too much. I don't know why I've got a random seed there. So let's just go and make ourselves one. This will protect us from mobs spawning in a pretty wide area you can set its um width the kind of the area its radius of effect in the config but i'm pretty sure it starts out where the um magnum torch would be which is at a 64 block radius um sorry not radius diameter it's uh so like if it's so if you put it here you'd get protection for 32 blocks in that direction and 30 one blocks in that direction, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, a 64 block by a 64 block area anyway. Which is really nice when you want to do complex stuff and you need a bit of darkness. So let's bring that with us and head out to the mountaintop. Okay, so here we are. Had to wait around a little bit for it to get to evening again. But here's our mega torch. Now, I've got a load of normal torches around here. And it is a bit thicker than normal, as you can see here. But I don't want it to get lost. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on a little pedestal here so I'll know where it is. Because, you know, it is an investment in blocks. So I, I, I will most likely want to move it when I move away from here. Okay, so we've got this guy, the Luminous Crafting Table. And we've got our Rock Crystals. Now, what we need to be looking into making is... Not the sky with resonator, the light well. So we need ruined marble, chiseled marble, rock crystals, and aquamarine. And we should have all of those things. So let's see. What was the recipe? It was the ruined marble in the upper right and bottom middle. With the crystal in the center. The this form of marble there, and the aquamarines here. Okay, cool. So now, do I? I wonder if I've got enough of this stuff. It's possible that I 
don't, and I will have to wait a while? I don't know, let's see. A carefully carved basing of blah, 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 blah. in order to use light well, okay. So I'm not sure. It says it says here luminous crafting table, not much. So you see it doesn't tell you specifically how much of this stuff you need here. But I'm assuming that because I haven't got it, that I might need more, so it might be time to uh find somewhere that has a better uh source of the stuff okay so what i'm going to do is run around with my magnum torch and my table and find somewhere a little bit better oh oh here we go here we go okay Ta da okay uh, uh, that happened very suddenly so it turns out all i had to do to make the light well was hit my um luminous crafting table here with the um, wand just with the right click there and it makes a cool sound effect and out pops the item i had no idea so this does mean that i most likely could have made this in the other hill without having to relocate here but oh well now i've got it anyway and what we need to do is go back and put get a rock crystal to put in it and then we can progress with some of the more next kind of next features in the mod and um i actually want to relocate just to be a little bit closer to home anyway because this is a not the most convenient of locations. What I'm going to try to do is find a location a little bit closer to where I'm going to be building. Um, I found a location for my base. You might be able to see it coming into view over the horizon there. If you see that big um, line of blocks there, I have chosen that as my location for now. What I want to do is build a big old kind of sci-fi bridge style build kind of spanning the gap in this huge valley let's just get over this hill a little bit so that um we can see it and and i'll be you'll be able to see it a bit more clearly yeah so we've got this amazing valley here and i want to build a base suspended on a bridge over um this valley so i've set this out as a template here oh i've got a little skeleton trying to ruin my day here let's uh Ooh. If, only, if only we'd had a bit of knockback, that'd be a sight to see. So yeah, I've got that set up there, and I've been kind of messing around with uh, block diagrams and stuff to come up with some, some designs. It's a 91 block span, so it's, it's pretty wide. And what I'm thinking of doing is... Oh, this is awkward to jump through, through. Is have it kind of come out gradually, getting wider towards the middle and then have a big circle there and have kind of rooms above and below and have it kind of supported by some pillars from underneath and i'm thinking that because i'm really enjoying this uh astral sorcery mod i might use some marble because it just so happens that astral sorcery adds marble with the um, altars and kind of little temple things you find in the wilderness but there's also veins of marble from the chisel mod underground and you can switch them between each other using chisel. I think that should be showed, showable in here. So, for example, I can take chisel marble and I can turn it into any of the other kind of astral sorcery marbles. So we can get, we can mine out the veins. The, and they're quite big sometimes underground to get loads of marble. So it won't be a problem getting plenty. So that's, so I think this is the right one. This is, yeah, this is the chisel one. I'm thinking that this might be one of the basic blocks I'll build with. I'll I'll check its texture against. Let's have a look. We I think we might have some of the. Let's see. Is this this is the chisel one, and I think this one is. Uh yeah, this is the astral sorcery one here. So if we look at these two textures here, what texture would you guys prefer for the build? Looking at it, actually, this one's got a bit more of a metallic sheen to it, almost. So I'm thinking I might go with this. I think I might actually end up going with this one. But it's okay. It doesn't actually matter which one I go to. Because, as I said, you can chisel them between each other. That's one of the things I really like about the chisel mod. Now, what I want to do is see if I can find an area with some of this kind of magic around here. If I can find it before daylight, that would be good. Just so I can find somewhere to set up uh, that will be close to where I'm building. 
Um, because I'm going to, of course, start moving my stuff out here in a second. Um, I can't remember if this stuff is visible during the day. So if it gets too light, I might not be able to find it. <laughs> uh, that's one of the things about time-sensitive mods in Minecraft. Can be a bit frustrating. Um, I'm going to take a cut here, I think, and see if I can find uh, where to put the altars anyway. See you in a minute. Okay, guys, I found a convenient one right here. It's in a really nice place, actually, because if we go on the map here, you can see that my bridge is just here, just to the north of us, and where I've got my temporary base set up here is right there, just to the south. So we can hopefully place this here, and oh, it's a really nice one, too. Awesome. Okay, so what we want to do now is just place the light well there and uh, take a little run down here and grab us a crystal. Gonna take a bit of full damage, most likely. Um, oh, I got a bit of lag there. So yeah, this is a. Uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to getting some building done. I hope I'm not boring people too much with all of this moddy stuff, but I'm really enjoying this mod. It's really fun. Um, where are the crystals? Oh, I got some uh, some sound effects there. I'm not sure if you heard that. Oh, it's one of the... Okay, we've got we've got a nasty enemy somewhere. I believe it's one of... Ah, oh, yeah, one of these guys. These are from Thermal Expansion, I believe. And... Oh, so, yeah, Thermal Foundation. Um, from some reason, sometimes I can't hit them. I'm not sure if that's an intentional part of their design. But they are... They're quite annoying. They can give you effects like there's like Blinders 3. Or the lats from a, a slightly different variety. And uh, they, they spawn all over the place, especially in these cold biomes, it seems. That's a cold-themed one there, but the um, the small grey one there, I can't figure out what his theme is. They all have kind of like an elemental theme. You know, they're, they're variations on the on the uh, blazes from uh, the nether, but I can't figure out what the grey one's theme is. Maybe it's stone or gravel or something. I'm not sure. Um, let's get back up here. Back to where my magnum torch is. The cool thing about the magnum torch, it being up here, so close to my base, is it should actually protect my base somewhat from creatures as well. Now, I did actually check the configs, and it is actually set to uh, 32 blocks by 32 by default. So I actually uh, altered that to be what the old magnum torch was at 64. Okay, so let's put that in. Oh, um, so yes. Uh, we have got the achievement Liquefied Light. Um, Spinning Welshman is my old username for the game, so there we go. <laughs> um, I always forget which account I'm logged in as. I've got two. I've got one for my old username and one for Curious Key. So, uh, there we go. <laughs> you know my alternate uh, old Minecraft internet identity that I used for a while before I started YouTube. Oh no, I've doxxed myself. Okay, how are we going to deal with you? I'm going to try and lead you in towards the mountain. Can I get you to come in so I can hit you? If I hide down here, will you will you come too close? Um yeah, there's actually a there's actually a story behind that nickname as well. Basically, what happened is I was um practicing capoeira for a while. And I got given a nickname, because in Capoeira, your teacher gives you um, kind of like a nickname that is used in the club instead of your real name. It's just a, a cultural thing to do with uh, Capoeira's origins, because it was banned for a while in um, its country of origin, Brazil, and people would have kind of false names, so they couldn't uh, tell each on each other. They couldn't inform on each other of having practiced the martial art. Yay, I got him. Okay, what did he give me? Nitre and a blitz rod. Okay, cool. So, uh, they give you these nicknames. So, I, I mentioned to my friend that I'd been given this nickname as part of the club. And he was going, oh, wh what does it mean? And uh, I told him that the English translation of it was Phoenix. And he was like, well, how do you know that? You don't speak Brazilian Portuguese. It could mean anything. For all you know, it could mean spinning Welshman. Because he was uh, he was mocking um, the martial art, so I I thought that the 
the the phrase spinning Welshman sounded amusing enough that I started using it for all of my <laughs> internet handles for quite a while until I started doing YouTube and I wanted a new name. So there we go. <laughs> I, I bet now I'm going to get comments going, why didn't uh, you should have kept that for YouTube? And uh, maybe I should. Maybe I should. I don't know. Um, so we've got what we've got here is a full light well now. And I believe if I go like this, I should be able to get. OK, well, there's two buckets worth of stuff in there, and I think it will now re um, com continue filling very slowly, I think. I think. I think that's filling up. Yes, it is. It's just filling quite slowly. Um, it doesn't seem to be a way to monitor it right now. It would be good to get like some levels displayed so I know how much is in there. But you can see the pixels riding up if this video is encoded well enough. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. But I can see the pixel edges moving up slowly. So I know it's filling up. But I've got... Um, Let's see, where are we? I've got two uh, liquid starlight buckets now. And we can do stuff with that. We can start to make things. Uh, for example, we could make the sky wave resonator. So let's have a look at that. Um, the sky wave resonator is aquamarine bucket, gold ingot, that's a starlight bucket with marble on either side. Now... The marble blocks that I want to use for this, I actually put down here. So let's pick those up, because I need a specific marble, not just any marble, it looks like. So, let's see. Starlight Emerald, we need to move quickly, because it's uh, it's getting decidedly less um, dark. Let's go. Oh, is it going to give it to me? Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> I love its little da -da sound effect, although I'm not sure if it fits with the rest of the design of the mod, so um, I'm not sure maybe if that should stay, but I, <laughs> it's cute. Okay, so now we've got a sky wave resonator. What that is supposed to do is, I think, help us see stuff. So, looking up in the sky with the naked eye, it is nearly impossible to discern the magnitude of starlight emitted in a given area. However, there is empirical evidence based on the starlight crafting altars reservoir alone that the light star stars send various from position to position. The light of one star can overlay of others, causing it to either amplify a stage or just vanish entirely. Um, so yeah, let's see. With this, it looks like... Um, it will help us find stuff, I th think. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a moment to read it anyway. Yes, so what this does is it helps us see the levels of starlight we'll see in different locations rather than um, having to use the resonating one to find areas and then place the crafting table down and see how much we actually get because different areas give us different levels in this bar here. Um, this will actually tell us a bit about that, but rather than continue with this, I'm going to go on. I'm going to move on now to doing a bit of building over there. So, guys, I'm gonna go and get some blocks prepared for some building, and we'll get that done in a minute. Okay, here we are at the um, base of the bridge. And I've put out a few wider pieces here because I think I actually want it to be a bit wider than this. Just to give me kind of more area to actually build on. Now, uh, that block over there in the center, the center point of the bridge, is um, supposedly 46 blocks away from me right now. So, um, I've kind of put out some measurements for some kind of general shapes and we'll see if they work might end up getting a few things off and having to readjust but that's all okay um so the idea is starting from this block here we count out we go one two three four five and on each kind of fifth block we're going to go out one um so then it'll be one two three whoops um, actually, I've already made one miscalculation. It should be every six block because we want to go five blocks and then go out. So we actually want to go like this. So one, two, three, four, five, and then out. And then 
Oh, I keep on. I'm doing. I'm doing a thing where I'm thinking of control as crouch when shift as crouch. I I was wondering why I was falling off there. One, two, three, four, and five, and then go out. Um, and the idea is we've gone out twice now. So I think once more, and then we'll go out a little bit more um, rapidly. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So once more, like this, I think. That's five there. So you can see we're kind of slowly going out. Let's have a look at that on the map. Hmm. You know what? I, I, I designed this kind of going out thing for this. I think I'm actually going out a little bit too rapidly. So I'm actually going to alter this. See, this, this is the thing. We, we've something to got to mess around with ideas and make some mistakes. Um, general idea is that I've got 25 blocks to play with. So if I've gone out um, 5... To get to here, let's go out 10. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So basically, out this much. And then let's start going out from that point. I think that will give us kind of a better gradual increase. Okay, so then let's go out and go out 5. Um, like so. And then go out a bit. And then go another five. And let's have a look at the map now. Yeah, I think, I think that works somewhat better. Um, so the idea of it is we go out kind of in a, um, in this kind of slowly curving out. I want to increase the curve slightly then and then go out into a big old circle. So we have this big wide area to build in. But I'm going to uh, do a bit more off camera now because uh, I'm coming up with a few ideas where I might want to alter the design. And I'm going to lay it out and we'll have a look at it. See you in a minute. Okay, so messed around with a few ideas and I think I'm getting there. So as you can see, I've got this coming forward here and just blending in to a circle here and of course i'm going to have this coming along the say going basically the same way kind of out there up to the the mountain wall and yeah i'm building in cobblestone i'm, I'm not sure if i mentioned it just as a template to get the kind of design the skeleton laid out i will be of course building in the marble blocks once it actually comes to the proper building but i'm building a cobblestone skeleton because cobblestone is cheap and i have lots lying around from my um, mining expedition so yeah and also i somehow managed to die i fell off and died right in the middle that's not like a a placed waypoint that is a death there right in the center <laughs> it just it was um the most lucky way of being unlucky i guess um but yeah this is the general design anyway I've got on the map. It looks pretty nice. I'm quite pleased with it. And uh, because of the shading here, it does actually look a little bit um, like like they're not quite the same on the map here, but they are. They just, for some reason, look a little bit different on the map because uh, shading. Yeah, so the idea is I'll have this level here and I'll have some levels above it and below. So it's not going to be a huge base, but then again, it is only really meant to be kind of a starter place before I start with building my mega project now i guess this is probably i, I think this is going to be uh when we finish up here because uh it's it's getting around about to that kind of time so between now and next episode i think i'm gonna start thinking about how i'm going to actually lay out the interior of the base and start laying out some marble do a lot of uh, marble gathering and um Hopefully then we can start getting into some serious uh, base building. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. See you later.